Thank you for listening to my presentation on a systematic review and meta-analysis of the prevalence of multiple sclerosis in patients with uveitis and the characterization of the phenotype of patients with both conditions. Uveitis describes inflammation of the uveal tract. It may be idiopathic or secondary to a systemic autoimmune disease or infection, and there is a known association between uveitis and MS. Estimates for the prevalence of uveitis associated with MS range from 0.65 to 1.1%, compared to 0.06% in the general population. Recently, anti-TNF alpha therapies have been licensed for the treatment of refractory uveitis. However, these have also been associated with de novo demyelination and exacerbations of pre-existing demyelinating disease. It is therefore increasingly important to understand the relationship between uveitis and MS in order to potentially identify subgroups of patients at higher risk of demyelinating events. This systematic review of meta-analysis seeks to estimate the prevalence of MS in patients with uveitis worldwide and characterize patients with both diagnoses. For this study, we searched Medline and MBASE databases and identified 109 patient cohorts from 103 separate studies. The inclusion and exclusion criteria are listed here. We calculated the prevalence and corresponding 95% confidence intervals for each study and analyzed these using R. All analyses were meta-analyses of proportions and a random effects model was used due to high interstudy heterogeneity. The primary results of our study was that the global prevalence estimate of MS in patients with uveitis was 0.6 per 100 patients. We also did subgroup analysis which showed a significant impact of the geographic location of the study, with Europe and Northern, Northern America having the highest uh, prevalence estimates. Additionally, we showed the global prevalence estimate of MS in patients with intermediate uveitis only was 3.71 per 100 and the global prevalence estimate of uveitis in patients with MS is 2 per 100. Finally, we pooled the proportions, characteristic features of patients with both MS and uveitis, and showed that intermediate uveitis was most commonly associated, and that patients are most likely to be female, Caucasian, and have bilateral eye disease. The results of this pooled proportion study can be seen here. This study has limitations. These include the heterogeneity of the study designs included, and the anatomical classification of uveitis being limited to often one type only, variability in study numbers per region, and the exclusion of non-English language studies. Our estimate of the global prevalence of MS in patients who've had uveitis is 20 times higher than the estimate of the global prevalence of all cases of MS, and that the highest estimate of prevalence is in patients with intermediate uveitis. Therefore, we argue that the possibility of MS should be considered in patients referred with intermediate uveitis, particularly those who are female and Caucasian with bilateral intermediate eye disease. As it's also clear from our study, there's substantial geographic variation in the prevalence of MS in patients with uveitis, being particularly high in North America and Europe. We hope this combined analysis helps to strengthen previous observations from individual studies and may be helpful in risk stratifying patients and discussing the merits and disadvantages of further investigations with them. Thank you for listening.